Welcome back. Now, if you're always looking for your keys like me, help is on the way. Today, our craft expert, Jennifer Ackerman Haywood from the Grand Rapids Press and CraftSanity.com is showing us how to make key fobs. And I think this is fantastic because I am one of those people. I'm one of those people, like my purse is like a jungle and like a circus all in one and trying to have my keys is terrible. So these are great for that. Yeah, um, I bought one of these at a craft show about three years ago. Okay. It was looking pretty nasty, so I decided <laughs> it was time to make a new one. New but, one yeah. Um, yeah, this does help. If you're losing your keys a lot, this will change your life. These are called key fobs and we're going to make some today. Basically what you need is some cotton webbing. Okay. And I use about nine and a half inches of cotton webbing. So if you get a yard, you can you can squeeze three of these out of a yard. Okay. And it's just sold at the craft stores um, on, a, on a little bolt. And then go to your scrap pile and all you need is a little tiny strip. I use 10 inches. Um, it's 10 inches by one and three quarter inches. And this is just, just cotton, regular cotton. cotton. Yep, just cotton fabric. And then I use a little bit of interfacing. This is sold on a big bolt. This is fusible and you'll see in just a second what to do. Okay. Um, what I do is I just First, I iron it in half. The, the, this is just a regular fabric. Just iron this piece right in half because we want the webbing to show. Okay. So what we're going to do, this is just one of the easier ways to do it. So I iron it in half and then iron it in, in quarters. Like in, well, what I'm doing is you have that center fold, and what I'm doing is I'm just ironing up to okay. make the center fold. Okay. It just gives me, it's easier than trying to fold in the edges. Okay, and we're gonna skip ahead here. This one I have done. Okay. Um, and what I did is I, once I got it folded, you just iron on the interfacing. Interface, okay. And what that does is just give it a little more stability and just okay. make sure that's in place. And then just put that down on the piece of webbing here. Okay. And what we can do here is turn this on. Okay. And you just, this is a very easy beginner stitching project because if you've never you're never done going straight across. You're just going straight down. Okay. Yep. Just going straight down. Easy enough. Very easy. And then we're just going to go around the side here. Okay. And then the pounding comes. <laughs> well, yeah. You looking forward to the pounding part? Yes. <laughs> You got a little hammer thing over need, there. Yeah, you need a, a rubber mallet. You don't want to use a hammer for this project okay. because you can then um, ding in your fastener. Yeah. And the fasteners, um, you can find them. I found some at Lakeshore Sewing, which was, I was so happy because they sold them in groups of four. And normally, if you try to buy them online, they're like groups of like 200. And <laughs> I don't want to open a key fob store. Right, right, exactly. So then what you do is you have this piece right here. You, just, you know, I just stitched it along the side. And then what I'm going to do is just attach... I'm just going to hold this just like this and then I'm going to see that. Okay. Just kind of So all I did is I just put and there's a little there's little prongs in here. Okay. Okay. They don't do a whole lot until you get I'm going to fold this in here. In fact, actually, let's trim that right off. I can find my scissors. scissors. Where do we do with them? Where did I do? Oh, here. Oh. Right in front of me. You know, that's a common problem that I have. <laughs> I lose. See, my keys are right there. I can't find them now. Senior moments in my 30s. How does this happen? But okay. So what we're going to do is just and you can kind of try to stick it in there and this is kind of the part where there's a little bit of left to chance. Okay. I usually put one side down and then come by and just like whack Careful it. Careful those fingers. There you go. Yeah, definitely. And that's a little bit loud. You can protect your tabletop, but then you have your key fob. Oh very cool. And these you can make them a bunch of different these are really cute. And they're, they're as you can ones. see they're easy to make and then you just put your, your key ring in there and you're good to go. Very and cool. it does help me. Save oh, me yeah. losing my keys. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to get hooked up with one of these for sure. A couple seconds left. You're calm this weekend. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, I, I interviewed Sue Houseman, who was, um, she's known for, um, she was the host of America Sews. She, okay. She's had a long career in sewing, and she's going to be in West Michigan on August 21st for a day-long workshop. And you can find out information. She's been, ho she's been host by Smith Owen Sewing and Quilting. And okay. You can go over there and or call them at uh, 361-5484 for ticket information or look on uh, your website and yeah, we'll put all that we'll stuff put all the links on there so people can see. If I steal a couple her. of those, don't be alarmed, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer is always thanks for being with us. And you can find more information on Sue Houseman's Sewing Workshop and CraftSanity.com on our website at WZZM13.com. Just click on those Take 5 links. We'll be right back with more Take 5. Stick around.